future She was his wife Just trying to make the world a little better You know, shine a light All right, hey, Kyle Lance Martin, and yes, we are downtown Devil's Lake. It's going to be a fun day, a packed day. we got a meeting with the mayor. We're going to meet with some local pastors, and we're going to head out to the Native American Reservation. It's going to be a fun day. I'm excited to interact with the locals and see what God is doing on day two of Scout Devil's Lake or Scout Lake Region. Thanks. You know, I, I do get the sense, and maybe I'm wrong with this, but you know, I'm a Catholic, and um, but I, I get the sense. I mean, every time you go to mass, you know, we always pray for you know the the, the blood and that type of thing. But I do think it's probably I, I think the community is closer, you know, because we're fighting this as as a unit, and not just Devil's Lake. I'm talking Lake Region. looking at the remnants of State Highway 281, which I've driven on when I first came here 11 years ago. I think I drove on it for the first five years I was here. And how, how long ago? When did, when did this all start happening? About six years ago, they started rerouting to the new 281 and had to close this highway. Yeah, we can alter nature a bit, but we can't control it. And there's a higher power that we need to be visiting with, you know, to um, you know, help us out. A good start would be to start turning back to the Absolutely. We've got one guy that's doing it, and there's more in this town. The question is, is where are they? Can we find them to start gathering and start crying out to the Lord? Do you think prayer could affect that water? Yes. How so? Well, if anything can, prayer would change. I mean, if anybody can fix it, God can fix it. Mm -hmm. I mean, With the water or the housing. Do you think prayer can alter that? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you hesitated. Well, yeah, I think it can. <laughs> yeah. Would you pray for it? Yes. Do you pray for it? Um, no, that's not one of the things I pray for, no. <laughs> Therefore, confess your sins to one another, pray for one another, so that you may be healed. The effective prayer of a righteous man can accomplish much. And here it is in verse 17. Elijah, who was a prophet, was a man with a nature like ours. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the earth for three years and six months. Then he prayed again, and the sky poured rain, and the earth produced its fruit. 